Hey guys, welcome back. Yes, girl, we are in the bathroom today because I felt like this was easier to film since most of the products that I'm recommending are here in front of me in the drawers, all of that, instead of me pulling everything out just to take downstairs to film this video. So I am giving you guys my Sephora recommendations. I have a lot of self-care products, which include skincare, body care, hair, excuse me, hair care. Um, I also have makeup and just a lot of random stuff. A lot of stuff that I really, 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 really love from Sephora that I highly recommend to each and every one of you. Um, and yeah, we also have fragrances, candles, we have everything, everything to recommend in this video. So go ahead, get you a snack, get you a drink, pull up your Sephora cart, get comfortable, and let's get into it. said this in the beginning but Sephora is having their spring savings event on April the 1st and I'm crossing my fingers that I can have this video up before the event so anyway let's talk about I guess we'll talk about um skincare first so I have everything in front of me that I literally use on a daily if not every day at least every other day or every two or three days or so but these are my go-to ride or die products so first product I want to talk about is the Dennis uh, Dr. Dennis Gross peel pads so it's called the extra strength daily peel I've talked about these with you guys several times this is my second box and I am down to the last one but I just got another box of these but um yeah they're um basically if you have oily skin imperfections pores this is perfect 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 and I use this every night and the way you use it is you just take one of the pads wipe it all over your face and you're supposed to let it sit for two minutes and then after that, you take the other pad and then just wipe it all over your face. So you are not going to experience actual peeling on the skin when you use these. I definitely wanted to mention that, but um, it's supposed to give you more of a clear, brightened complexion. So I don't, I mean, I have the, I'll, I'll show y'all what I have on my face in a few minutes. But I will say I have noticed a huge, huge, huge difference in my skin when using these. So this is definitely something I would recommend to any of you who have oily skin, any of you who have hyperpigmentation. This is great. It's pricey, but this is the best time to put it in your cart because you are going to get a, um, you are going to save coins on that. So next thing I recommend, I'm not going in any order. I'm just pulling stuff like that's literally right in front of me. Um, okay, so I know I've also mentioned this to you guys as well. This is the Cora eye cream. You can purchase the refills, which I need to do. I'm actually gonna do that once the sale starts, but this has been my favorite eye cream and I've been using, let me show you. See, this is why I'm glad I'm in here. I could, I could just go through my drawer, but this is the eye cream I've been using since I've ran out of the Cora. This is the Saturday Skin, um, vitamin c bright eye cream so i you can see i'm almost out of this but i personally like the one from cora more than i do saturday skin because this one i can actually see a change like usually when i use eye creams i'm like okay it's not doing anything i don't see you know any drastic changes when using eye creams but when i use the cora this one actually brightens my like it makes me look so awake so youthful like this is the best eye cream i've tried so i definitely will be getting another one of those not to say that this one isn't good it's just the between this one and the cora i like the cora the best there's also another one that i recommend um from fresh fresh lotus eye cream so good i think i like that one just as much as the cora so yeah let's talk about the serums i've been loving 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 so one of them which is definitely not going to come as a surprise because i have raved about this one is the herbivore 12 percent aha and three percent i've rubbed the words off because you know it's like i can't even see the words on here anymore but it's 12 percent aha and three percent bha exfoliating glow serum this has been everything on my skin i was using this with the um it's the glow recipe plum plump hyaluronic cream so these are the two products i was using non-stop when i purchased this and it was like 
magic, y'all. I don't know what. Well, obviously it has a 12% AHA and 3% BHA, which is really good for the skin. But these two together literally gave me a glass skin. Like it cleared my skin up. It looks so just, mm, they were just the best products that I was using at the time. So I recently got a refill of this um, hyaluronic cream. So you're able to put it in here and I have it, here it is. I have it right here. I'm gonna show y'all what it looks like. See, so yeah, I like the fact that you can purchase refills. So here it is. And you just put it in here, just like that. And I'll go ahead and open that once I finish up the moisturizer that I'm using. So yeah, Herbivore Exfoliating Glow Serum. If you want smooth glass skin, this is it. And I remember the lady, um, the lady in Sephora telling me exactly that and she literally had glass skin. So that's why I picked this up because her skin was perfect and she honestly did not lie about it. So really, really, really enjoy that. So I just got to finish up the rest that I have right there. Um, and then this right here, this is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Dew Drops. Now this is one that I've recently started using. I thought this was going to be one of those serums that looks shimmery on the skin but when you pump it out i mean it looks like that but it goes on clear but when i say the skin is going to glow when you use this it's so so nice y'all i really like glow recipe products but yeah this is another serum that like i said i've recently started using but i have been loving 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 okay another product that i recently tried out which i absolutely love fresh so y'all know i love 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 fresh beauty products but this one was pretty new to me i don't know how long they had this out but i recently tried it out because they sent it to me and i love 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 it so it's the floral recovery calming mask now this is what i put on my face after i'm done putting everything on at night after i'm finished up with my entire skincare routine this is the very last step and I actually like this more and I'm, I can't believe I'm saying this, but I like this more than the Laneige, um, I was about to say the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. Laneige Sleeping Mask. Y'all know which one I'm talking about. The Water Sleeping Mask. Girl, you know which one I'm talking about. But yes, definitely love this more. It is thicker than the Laneige, but it's more hydrating than the Laneige. I find that with the Laneige, even though it does keep my skin hydrated throughout the night, I don't know how to explain it. This one just makes my skin look better. And it also, I mean, it has claims that it's supposed to even your skin tone. Let me see. Yeah, it says even skin tone and texture. This gentle daily leave on mask helps your skin recover from visible signs of discomfort for a smooth, soft, more even toned complexion. So that's probably why I like this better than the Laneige because the Laneige is more so a hydrating sleeping mask. This one is too, but this one's going to give you more benefits, if that makes sense. But really, really, really been enjoying that. And then um, this right here. Okay, this is what I use with my makeup, but I also use it when I'm not wearing makeup like today. So this is also what's on the face. It's the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. Y'all know this is my holy grail skin mist. I have talked about this stuff so much and it's what i always use when i do my makeup so after i'm done putting everything on the face i just spray my face lightly with this and it just gives me a really pretty i mean y'all can see here it's just a nice natural dewy glow so really enjoy this with makeup and also without i don't know how many of these i have gone through y'all um but just know i will be stocking up on this bottle so they have like little travel size which i need to go ahead and get because i lost mine i usually like to pour this in the travel size when i'm traveling so i'm gonna get the travel size and i'm also going to stock up on the full size but really 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 nice do we missed um okay this right here i find that every time i feel like my skin is doing the best i'm always reaching for this cleanser right here because it's so 
gentle like when i feel like my skin is going through the worst i'm always pulling out cleanser that will help so a cleanser with aha and bha anything that's going to help with either my breakouts my hyperpigmentation that's when i'm reaching for those cleansers like my tata harbor cleanser the skin fx cleanser well not skin fx skin fix cleanser um excuse me yeah those are the only two cleansers that i really reach for when i'm having breakouts but this one is my go-to cleanser when i feel like my skin is looking good it's feeling clear because it's so so gentle and it's also good to remove makeup so this is what the bottle looks like and i have used so many of these i know you guys have heard me talk about this several times on my channel um, but this is a good cleanser to melt the makeup off and also to obviously clean the face so if you want to do it two ways i would recommend putting this on um, your hands without wetting your face first and just massaging it all over the face so that way you can melt the makeup and then rinse it off and then go in with it again to actually scrub the face so i do recommend double cleansing especially if you are wearing makeup but this is one of the best gentle cleansers that i've tried from sephora and i always 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 reach for it so i highly recommend this if you are wanting like a really good gentle cleanser um I think that's all like the skincare products I'm using right now that I recommend. These right here, okay. So I wanted to pull these out. I know these are available at like TJ Maxx, uh, Marshalls, but I also know some TJ Maxx and some Marshalls don't have them. It's the Shiseido Facial Cottons. I always like to stock up on these during the Sephora sale because they are a little pricey for facial cottons. Um, one thing i like about them is they don't peel so when you're putting your toners on and then rubbing it all over your face you don't have to worry about the actual cotton peeling off on your face and yeah so i highly recommend these as well if you are wanting some really 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 nice facial cottons oat cleansing balm from inculus get it get it get it get it i tell you guys this every year Go ahead put it in your cart because it always sells out and it's only like 9.99 in the bottle the tube is like this, well it's actually fatter than this but it's about this tall and you get a lot of product for only nine dollars well ten dollars with tax but put it in your cart it is one of the best 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 cleansers if you um just want something to help remove your makeup help melt everything off in a second that will get it so go ahead put that in your cart and um i think that is all of the like skincare i know i can mention more but these are just the ones that i'm using right now that i'm loving that i highly 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 recommend to you guys um okay hmm what else okay lip care this I have shared this right here with you guys on my Instagram. I know some of you don't follow me on Instagram, but NARS have come out with a lip mask. I had no idea that they had lip masks, but it's the NARS Orgasm um, Lip Mask, and they only have this one. They don't have any other shades, but girl, when I say, when I say this is better than the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask, yes i said it yes 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 i said it and y'all know that is my favorite lip sleeping mask if you feel like the laneige lip sleeping mask dries your lip out uh, dries your lips out because i've seen several people say that that one dries their lips out this one you will love i promise you so i have noticed a difference between this one and the laneige this one like when i wake up the next day I can still feel it on my lips. The Laneige, even though I can't really feel it, the, my lips are still really soft and like, they're just so soft and smooth. This one does the same thing, but it's like, I don't know. It's just better than Laneige, I feel like, because I feel like it's more moisturizing. Like my lips are soft and they're not only soft, they're also, I don't know. I can't explain it, but I will say that I like this one way more than the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. Now there is a scent, but it's not something that's like too strong. It's almost like a sweet, soft floral scent, but it's nice. And also um, the color, I mean, you can see that it's pink, but it's clear and this is actually what I have on my lips today. Yes, so I definitely recommend this if you're looking for a new lip sleeping mask. And um, let's talk about body care. 
yes let's talk about body care y'all so necessaire gel deodorant go ahead and put this in your cart because i already know this is gonna sell out if it's not already sold out this is bomb 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 if you sweat under your arms if you have odor under your arms get this because this is going to get rid of it so the one i got is fragrance free they have the eucalyptus one as well but i was like i don't know if i want my armpits to smell like eucalyptus so i went ahead and got the fragrance free one and it has been wonders 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 like wonders so highly recommend that and okay speaking of necessaire i don't have the other ones the other two in front of me but there is a set on sephora that i want you guys to go ahead and put in your cart especially if you've never tried anything from necessaire so the set is um well it comes with four products it has the body wash the body lotion the body exfoliator and also the body serum i use up the body wash and i also use up the body lotion because i usually take that with me when i'm going out of town but these are some of my favorite products from necessaire and you literally get everything in one set so if you've never tried the body uh, the body wash if you've never tried the body lotion the body exfoliator or the body serum just go ahead and get the set because i feel like this is a great um way to try out the products instead of getting one by one um and that's another thing during the sephora savings event this is literally the best time to get sets so if there's a set from fresh beauty i know they have a set from fresh beauty that has the cleanser um i'll have to try to find it though hopefully it's not gone but they usually have like little sets that has a cleanser they have like face creams moisturizers lip products so if i can find that set i will definitely have it linked down below for you guys um okay so let's talk about my favorite body butters from sephora this honestly wasn't even hard to do because i have been using these and i've narrowed it down to my top favorites and this might not be helpful because i know some of you are gonna be like okay which one out of those do you recommend <laughs> girl i recommend all of them okay all of them so the first one is of course the josie Marin body cream i just want to try out a um a different scent this time but yes one of my favorite body creams is such a nice moisturizing body cream. I love it. Um, and then the next one I recommend is this one from Fenty Skin. This is very similar to Josie Marin in my opinion, but I feel like your skin is more glowy with this one. So if you're looking for a body cream that's going to give you that super duper nice shiny glow, this is it really 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 good and um it's also good for the summertime because i know a lot of us like to have that glow to our bodies especially like if we're going to the beach um so love that and then this is a newer favorite of mine the moroccan oil y'all mm, it's a moroccan oil rich hydration body souffle this stuff right here when they say rich they mean rich it is so rich so creamy and it smells so 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 good i can't really describe the scent but i will say it almost smells like you just walked into a spa like that's what it smells like it's really nice and really luxurious so these are my three favorite, like top favorite body butters, body creams, body souffles. <laughs> uh, well, this is a body souffle. Fenty Skin is the body butter, whipped oil body cream. And then the Josie Marin is the whipped argan oil. So yeah, these are the most, uh, well, these two right here are pretty similar. This one right here, it does have argan oil in it, so it's also gonna give you um, a nice glow to the body, but it's thicker than the other two that I showed, but it's really, really, really nice. So yeah, and I know, like I said, that's probably not helpful to you guys because you guys probably wanna pick one, but I mean, those are my favorites. Those are the ones I recommend. Um, so 
Do I, I thought I had more body products. What the world? Ooh, let's talk about perfume. Now, I wanted to just pull out my favorite perfumes for the spring since we are in spring now. And I know some of you are, well, a lot of you are on the hunt for a good everyday spring scent, spring and summer. So my top, top, top fragrances for the spring would have to be, y'all, I tell y'all this every year, Ellis Brooklyn Fable. If you have not smelled this, smell it. If your Sephora has it, please go in there and smell it. Come back to this video and let me know your thoughts. This is one of the best, 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 best fragrances in my collection that I wear in the springtime. It's so, so sweet and florally, but it's not like overwhelming. I can't explain it, you guys. I will try my best to remember to have the notes on the screen, but it is the most prettiest scent. Does that make sense? Prettiest scent. Girl, I don't know, but it is so good. It is so good. Oh, it smells like a dream, you guys. So if they have this available, because I've noticed this usually sells out. If they have it available on April 1st, go ahead, go ahead and put it in your cart now. And then on April 1st, well, if you are, cause I know that the dates are different for the three different tiers, but if you're Rouge, um, you'll get early access. But on April 1st, put this in your cart girl and check out. And then the next scent I have is Burberry Her. This is such a pretty, feminine scent like it is so so good and i know a lot of people don't like burberry hair for some reason but girl this is like one of the best one of the best scents in my opinion for the spring and summer it's so girly and sweet and mm, it just smells so good so oh they have other ones too um the one that i know and like is the pink one i haven't smelled the green one or i think there's a, a blue one i believe but the one that i love is the one with the pink um the pink top so love 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 that and then my all-time favorite 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 scent for spring or honestly for any time of the year because it's just the perfect everyday go-to scent clean reserve skin now if you're gonna put this in your cart just make sure it says skin on it because i know they have other clean reserve fragrances but it's the one that says skin and it is the best light airy fresh warm sweet scent so now let's talk about i guess we can go into hair products so, okay, Jizu Honey Infused Hair Oil. You guys have heard me talk about this a million and one times on my channel, and obviously you, you see that I love it, recommend it. This is a great oil to use on your natural hair and on your extensions, your wigs, because it's not greasy. And that's, I mean, obviously, y'all see, that's why. <laughs> I am pretty much done with it. Um, and this is my second bottle. The first one I had was like a little mini size, but they actually have a set on Sephora that has the oil, they have the um, hair perfume, which is another product that I recommend. They also have the hair conditioner, I believe, but it's a cute little set. So if you've never tried anything from Jizu, I would say, am I saying that right? Jizu, Jizu, Gaizu. I don't know but if you've never tried anything from the brand i would say get the little set so i will have obviously i'm going to have these two in the description but i'm also going to have the set down there if um if i can find it on i know i've seen it on sephora so hopefully it's still available but if it is i will have the set linked down below but yes this hair oil is really 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 good it's very light it doesn't weigh your hair down um, and then this perfume. This perfume smells so good, y'all. And I got this because I saw Jackie Ina use it and I think she did like a reels on her Instagram. And I was like, ooh, that's a cute little bottle. Let me try it out. And I actually really, really, really like the smell of it. So yeah, it's a really nice um, hair perfume if you just wanna spray your hair um, and just have, you know, it smelling good every time you whip your hair back and forth. But those are, um, 
two products that I recommend. And then this over here, which I always recommend to you guys, the bread hair cream. Oh, bread hair oil as well. I don't have it in front of me, I'm out. But bread also has a hair, uh, they also have a hair oil that I highly recommend to you guys. But this is the bread hair cream. This is my second jar. Love, love, love it. I use this every single time I wash my hair, um, especially if I'm out of my other hair products like the Briogeo Avocado Hair Mask, which is my top favorite. I don't have it in front of me because I'm out. Um, which is another product which I will have um, down below in the description. But this is a really, really, really nice hair cream. So you use it like a deep, well, I use it like a deep conditioner. Um, sometimes I'll have it in my hair for a few hours, sometimes overnight, and then I'll rinse it out the next day. And then there are also times where I'll just have it in my hair and not even rinse it out. Like I just keep it in there. And yeah, so I feel like you can use it however you want to use it, honestly. However your hair wants it to be used if that makes sense but and i know everybody's hair is different so really 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 enjoy this and i highly recommend this to um you guys i am so excited for this y'all because i just saw that they came back out with it it is a limited edition dyson pink hair dryer girl when i say this flew off the shelves when they had it last year and i think the year before that girl and I was on the, um, the, the list, the email list. Every time they notified me about this, every time I put it in my cart, and when I go to check out, it sold out. So that is just how fast this thing will sell out because it's pink. Everybody loves pink. But yes, girl, they brought it back. And the one that they have now actually comes with a, um, it's like a, a box that you can store it in. I didn't get that the first time. This came with a brush. It came with a comb. Um, yeah, just a brush and a comb. And then obviously this right here, which is magnetic. You just pop it on and off. And they have other brush, uh, well, little heads to use with your Dyson hair dryer. But the one that they brought back this year, I think it only comes with the, um, the box to store it in. So either way, Put this in your cart because it is a pink Dyson hair dryer. She is so cute. I love mine. And I definitely recommend this to all of you because this is a really good hair dryer. Um, so I just want to mention that because I saw that they brought it back. I know the other one that they had earlier this year was navy blue. And y'all know the original one is silver. Um, it's like, I think it's silver with the orange right here, I believe. Or is it silver with the pink? I don't know, but the limited edition one that they brought out this year was navy blue and they just brought out the pink one. They brought it back. So put it in your cart because I know it's going to sell out. While we're here, let me just say this hair towel, this is what I'm always wearing, is better than the hair, um, the hair turbans that I used to wear. So this is from Crown Beauty and this is a new brand on Sephora and y'all, I went ahead and got another one because that's just how much I love it. So this is, I mean, obviously it's a hair towel, but y'all, there's a huge band in the back that holds the towel in place. My other hair turbans, you just wrap it around and there's like a little button, but this is a legit, girl, let me just open this so y'all can see what I'm talking about. It is so nice. Like it is a nice towel for your hair and it's huge. So this is how it looks. Really nice size hair towel and it dries your hair fast. So I like to have this on when I'm either deep, uh, deep conditioning my hair or like today when I'm just drying my hair, but such a nice hair towel and it's a little pricey, but she is nice. And I got another one because this one, I mean, this is one that I was wearing or that I, I mean, I still do like when I'm doing my makeup, when I'm getting ready and stuff like that. And there's like makeup on this one. So I wanted to have another one where I don't use it for that, if that makes sense. So where I'm just using it just for my hair, not getting ready as well. So it's nice. It's nice to have. I feel like it's a good investment. Um, and I think, we're, yeah, we're done with the hair products. There's a ton more that I can recommend, but I don't have them in front of me and I can't think of it off the top of my head. Just know Briogeo has really good hair products. The avocado hair mask, excuse me, they have good um, shampoo and conditioner, really good. Okay, so since we're at my sink, let me show you 
a hand soap and a hand wash that you need in your life. It is from Way. When I say your hands are going to be a baby bottom smooth when you use this. So when I first used this, I was actually really surprised because I wasn't expecting what it was. Um, I, was expect I wasn't expecting it to come out the way it did. So, okay, let me just squirt some since I'm here, you know. Um, this is the hand soap. It has little beads in it, which exfoliates your hands while you wash, which is nice. And then the smell of it is incredible. Incredible, you guys so this is Dean Street I believe yeah Dean Street so you get the hand wash well these are obviously sold separately but I would say if you want to try out anything from way try out their hand wash their hand lotion and also they have a body cream it comes in the blue um, well it's a clear tube and the body cream is actually blue I really 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 like that so yeah really nice enjoy these i just want to share that since you know we're at my sink <laughs> um and okay let's go into a little bit of random stuff and then we'll go into the makeup so these are the touchland power mist hand sanitizers i would say go ahead and grab a few of these so that way you can throw it in your purse i like that how i like how skinny they are so they fit perfectly in your bag in your pocket um, so really enjoy these. I haven't used this one yet, but I've gone through two of these already. This is my third one from, um, this is just the original one. And then candles. Girl, if you've never tried any Forever Mood candles, at least get this one. This is caked up. Well, let me take that back. If you like sweet dessert type of scents, like really sweet just a nice sweet dessert <laughs> this one is it it's called caked up and i absolutely love this is my favorite one out of a lot of them like i have a few favorites from forever mood but this is the one that i always go go back to it's so good it's so sweet but it's like a good sweet like it's not like a headache sweet in my opinion but it's a good it's a good sweet so Definitely recommend this candle. Um, Nest has really good candles too. I just can't think of them off the top of my head, but they have really, really, really good candles. So, okay, now let's talk about makeup and then we are done with the video. So foundation, I didn't wanna overwhelm you guys with the makeup part because I know I can sit here and recommend a million and one makeup products. But if I had to choose one foundation to recommend to you guys, it would definitely be the NARS foundation. This is the new NARS light reflecting foundation. And y'all, this is, well, I don't want to say over, like, I don't want to speak for everyone, but this is so much better in my opinion than the NARS sheer low foundation, which was for a while, my favorite foundation from NARS. This one right here gives you the perfect, perfect natural looking skin. It is so pretty, so natural, and I love it. And also the longevity of this foundation is incredible, you guys. So definitely recommend this if you're looking for a new foundation. And then, okay, I have a lot of setting powders in front of me because they are literally my favorites, you guys. They are my holy grail setting powder. So the first one I wanna talk about is of course the Sephora translucent setting powder. Y'all know, well not all of you, but a lot of you know, I have gone through several, 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 several of these setting powders. Such a nice setting powder. It does not give flashback. Before we get any further, if I ever mention a setting powder on my channel that I like, that I love, just know that it's not gonna give flashback. Like I would not recommend anything or I would, I would not sit here and say, I really like this powder if it gives me flashback because that just wouldn't make any sense. But yeah, um, really like this. It doesn't give flashback. It looks really pretty on the skin. It sets the concealer beautifully. And the Laura Mercier, okay, this is an old favorite, but I'm mentioning it because of the packaging. So they came out with new packaging and it is so cute. So cute, and this is the jumbo one too. So if you love the Laura Mercier setting powder and you want more of it, go ahead and get the jumbo one and the packaging is like 10 times better than the original. So highly recommend that. And then of course, my Dior setting powder. I feel like I always talk about this one, but if you are looking for a setting powder that's not gonna look like you have on powder, Dior. It's called the Dior Backstage Powder No Powder Foundation. No, yeah, Dior Backstage 
face and body powder no powder and i mean y'all see this i have a new one that i haven't even opened yet but this is just one that i just honestly need to toss because i've had it for a while <laughs> Uh, but this is so good. It's so pretty on the skin, so natural on the skin too. And I wear the shade 6N in that. And then the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. I know this is like an oldie but goodie, but I'm bringing it back because, because I have been wearing this as a no makeup makeup look lately and it goes perfectly 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 did i even bring it in here i did not dang it oh yes i did i did it goes perfectly with the fenty eye brightener y'all put a little bit of this under your eyes and then set it with the charlotte tilbury this is in the shade dark they have a darker one but i prefer this shade to set any like if i'm gonna put it under my eyes i'll prefer a lighter shade to do it with so i use this with and y'all see i have been almost we about to hit pan right there but i've been using this with this and these are perfect like a match made in heaven so love 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 that and then the last setting powder Ooh, did i did i bring it i did i did i did okay the last setting powder that i have i know a lot of you know which one this is and i always talk about it makeup forever um matte velvet skin powder this is hands down the best the best full coverage setting powder now you don't have to like it's not you can build this up to give you a full coverage but this is also really pretty if you just want to lightly brush it over the face but hands down the best full cover setting powder that i have in my collection and i am getting another one you guys have actually recommended a shade to me um i gotta go back to that video actually i wrote it down in my notes but there is a i want to get one to set my under eyes so a lighter shade so i'm going to be getting that during the sale as well and i'm also going to be getting another one obviously because girl we getting pan on that um okay so let's talk about i guess we'll talk about concealer i haven't really been using different concealers um the lancome tinty dull is my one of my top favorite concealers i don't have it in here um but lancome tinty dull and i use the shade 460 and then this one right here is an oldie but goodie it's the nars soft matte concealer i've been using the mess out of this i actually like using this to clean up my brows and i also use it to um, conceal under my eyes too so this is a great one to um try out if you haven't tried it and also i mean i've already told you guys about the fenty eye brightener this is in the shade almond yeah almond butter number 12. um okay my camera is about to die <laughs> let's talk about blush Danessa Myricks. Danessa Myricks cheek and lip. Yeah, cheek and lip palette. This one right here is what you need to get. Yes, girl, you need to get it. Y'all know I have talked so much about this. This is what I use for my blush and also on the lips. It's so pretty. And it also gives a really pretty dewy finish. So I feel like this time of the year is the perfect time to get this because, you know, it's getting warmer outside. A lot of us like to have that natural dewy look on the face that will do it and then the pat mcgrath um venus i think it's in the yeah it's in the shade paradise venus this is a great everyday blush it's so pretty it's, uh, it's just it's just everything you guys so really 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 recommend this one if you're looking for like a powder blush this is really nice um, and then the last few things I have are bronzers. So, okay, I didn't pull it out. I don't know why I didn't, but Danessa Myricks has one of my favorite cream bronzers and I use the shade Deep. So that's definitely one that I recommend. And then y'all know I have been using and abusing this one from Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's in the shade um, Chestnut. It's another one that I highly recommend especially if you're wanting like a cream bronzer. And if you're wanting a matte bronzer, I always talk about this one in all of my recommendations videos, but the Fenty Beauty Matte Bronzer, I use the shade Thick Mint. This is the perfect, perfect, perfect shade for me as a bronzer. And then um, another cream bronzer that I really, really like is the Beauty, um, Huda Beauty uh, Tantor in the shade Medium. And this is what it looks like. I'm trying to hurry up because my battery's about to die really really pretty okay so the camera died i had to go and put another battery in but i left off talking about the huda beauty tantor and it's in the shade medium don't know if it 
if I was able to, like if the camera caught it, but this is what it looks like inside. But yeah, those are the few bronzers that I recommend if you're looking for like a new bronzer. Um, and they're just my favorites. Like these are the ones that I am literally always using, always reaching for out of all of the bronzers I have. And I have quite a few bronzers. So are we done? Oh, we have a few more makeup products and then we will be done. So um, there is a mascara that Gucci has and I've, I've um, talked about it in my recommendations last year, I believe, but it was one that I was talking about a lot and I forgot the actual name of it and I don't have it in front of me because I don't have it anymore, but it's, it comes in a pink tube with a gold top. So good. So, so, so good. If you have really tiny lashes, which y'all know I have like non-existent lashes, that mascara is really, really good. It's the brush on it which is why it's so good. But the Gucci mascara, I will have it in the description. And then a favorite of mine for the year so far is this one from Kali Ray. I know a lot of you have heard me talk about this a lot. I have mentioned this or shared this in a lot of Get Ready With Me's this year. So this is probably, well, it's new to me. I've tried it out this year and this is definitely my favorite one of the, well, not, I have a few favorites, but it's one of my favorite mascaras for, uh, for the year. I like how the wand is um, shaped. So you can see it's literally perfect for small lashes because it's not like too big and it's not going to really, you know, get all over your eyes. So really recommend this. The NARS Climax Mascara is another favorite of mine. Now, I will say when I first tried this mascara out a year ago, about a year, two years ago, I wasn't the biggest fan, but I don't know what it is now. This is the mascara I have been reaching for non-stop because this one is already like dried out. It's almost, it's gone. Like I can't really, it doesn't do anything with my lashes anymore because I've used it so much. But this one, this one, this has been doing my lashes some justice. You see it's bigger than the other one that I just showed, but for some reason, my lashes have been loving this mascara. So. And that's weird because at first I was like, oh, and now I just absolutely love this mascara. But yeah, those are the ones that I recommend. And then lip products. So I've already talked about the NARS lip mask that I have on my lips. Now let's talk about a lip balm that I have been recently loving that I got from Sephora. It's the Kelly Ray um, Glazed and Infused Plumping Glassy Lip Trip. This is Lost and Sauced. So the color is like a taupey, mauvey brown. And I'll put it on right now. Even though I have on that lip mask, I'll just put it on so y'all can see that you don't really get pigment. It's more so of a glossy, clear finish with a tint of color, like the slightest tint of color, but it's really nice. And it smells, almost like one of those lip smacker lip glosses back in the day. It has a really, <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> I'm trying to smell my lips. <laughs> it has a really nice scent. Like it's, it's, it's like kind of like a nostalgic scent, you know? But I really like that. Um, and then, okay, if you are on the hunt for some lip liners, I know I've talked about this one a lot and I can recommend so many lip liners to you guys, but if you're wanting a really nice everyday soft brown lip liner to either go all over the lips or just to line your lips, Charlotte Tilbury Foxy Brown is it. Now it's not the darkest brown, but it is one of my favorite everyday natural soft brown lip liners. So you can see it's not like super duper dark but if you're wanting a darker brown i would say get the sephora um gel liner in the shade molasses and there's another one oh there is i have several brown lip liners i can share with you guys i'm gonna leave them down in the description because there are several that i can recommend um if you're wanting something darker than this and then this lipstick which I haven't really been wearing a lot of lipsticks, but if I do wear a lipstick, I have been reaching for it. This one right here is the Melt Lipstick in the shade Working Girl. And this is the perfect, perfect, perfect 
beige nude lipstick. So if y'all have heard me talk about the one from Re uh, Revolution Pro in the shade Latte, you know, that one, they, I think either they just stopped selling or it was just, I don't know what happened, but for some reason I just can't find it anymore on their website, but it's literally the same. It's the same. Like this color looks very similar to the Revolution Pro Latte lipstick that I'll always wear because I girl I got some backups with those lipsticks but yeah this is really 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 pretty good for every day and it also goes well with any brown lip um any brown lip liner which obviously that's what I've been wearing it with the Charlotte Tilbury or any other one that I just find close by but I really 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 like that lipstick there are a lot of other products that I can recommend a lot of makeup products like primers brow pencils, but it would literally be the same ones that I've been recommending in all of my other Sephora recommendations videos. So I will have those videos linked down below as well. So you guys can check those out if you haven't seen them. Um, there is another product that I totally forgot to share for like your hair. This is a edge brush. So if you're looking, mine is all dingy and beat up, but if you're needing like a new edge brush, Pattern has it and it's just so cute. So cute so there's like a little brush right there and then the little comb right there some edge brushes are really prickly like they they kind of hurt but this one is not it's like kind of soft and it's just a good edge brush to have so i would recommend this as well but i think that is it girl i think that is all that i have to recommend let me check my little drawer <laughs> yeah that is all that i have that I would recommend to you guys. I try not to recommend the same exact products that I recommend in all of my other Sephora recommendations videos because I know that can be very repetitive. And if I do that, I feel like there's no need for me to film a recommendations video because it's literally gonna be the same as my other recommendations video. But like I said, I will have the recommendation videos that I've already filmed down below in the description if you guys wanna check those out as well. But that is it, girl. That is all that I have to recommend. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Oh, girl. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> I've been talking too fast. Um, almost got choked. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I want to know what is currently in your Sephora cart. Let's talk about it because y'all know I'm nosy and you guys might have some stuff in there that I might want to put in my cart because I am coming with some hauls, girl. Be prepared to see more than one haul on my channel. Just know that. But let me know what's in your cart. Let's talk about it down below in the comments. But that is it, girl. That is all that I have. Thank you so much for hanging out. If you enjoyed today's video, give me a huge thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed if you're not subscribed already. And I'll see you guys in my next one.